everybody welcome to game highs in today's video i'm going to be ranking apex guns now disclaimer these are not ranked based on any type of stat or percentage this is just how i feel about them so if you disagree for any reason fuck you i'm sorry anyway let's begin with the 30 30 repeater um i actually i think i have yet to hit a shot with this However, I do like that it's kind of semi-automatic, so that's a solid C for me. Um, next, we got the alternator, which I actually like more than the R9. Um, because, especially now, since the R9 without a mag holds literally fucking 17 bullets, I don't know why, I don't know what a Mr. Apex is thinking. The R9 should not have 17 bullets without a mag. I, it used to be 20. You know, okay, I understand. That's a little much. But the alternator has 19 bullets without a mag. And the R9 has 17 now. Like, I don't know. I just, I don't like it. So the alternator has a solid place in a... The bow check, F. Actually, now that I look at the, the tier list, I don't know why there's an E there. Doesn't matter. The bow check is going in F. I know for a fact I have never hit a shot with the bow check. People rail me all the time with it. However, I don't rail them. So, solid place, F tier. That might be the only gun in F tier. I'm not sure yet. Anyway, now we have the car. This has saved me so many times. Because, my goodness, the fact that it holds heavy and light is a game changer the only gun that does it and 19 rounds without a mag is pretty nice it has won me many fights that's a solid b tier for me it can go higher depending on the rest of the guns now this is a confusing one the charge rifle if we're going back to uh, season 17 and before that, the charge rifle was just like a beam that you can hit. You know, even if you didn't hit them straight away, if they got caught by the beam, you would at least do like 9 damage, 3 damage. Which was usually what I got because I suck with snipers. However, now in season 18, it's just one quick beam. There's no like, much, there's no beam charge up or anything. So, I don't know. I haven't played much with the charge rifle in season 18. I don't know. If I'm going by past experiences, I would put it at D tier. I know a bunch of people that are going to scream at me and fuck me because I'm putting it in D tier. However, like I said before, fuck you. This is my tier list and I'm sorry. But this is, yeah, this is D tier for me. Now, now, the Havoc is a tricky one because I do like, I do like energy weapons. I, I like myself an energy weapon. However, the Havoc, if we're talking with a turbocharger, that's one of the top tiers, B, A, or maybe S. However, if we're talking no turbocharger, that's probably with the charge rifle. Because the recoil is insane and it's hard. I mean, close range, like, it will melt you. Actually, I'll put it C tier above the 3030. Because close range, no matter what, it will destroy you. Now, Devotion is a different story. This is probably the only one. I'll, I'll think of E, e tier is just like a confused tier. Because, you know, sometimes the devotion, sometimes it may be good, or sometimes it may be shit. So, the devotion is going in E for being itself, I guess. Anyway, now we got the first shotgun, the EVA 8. I like the EVA 8, actually, especially with double tap. With double tap, it's B tier for me. If we're going no double tap, it's probably C tier. Uh, yeah, I'll put it C tier. Below the 3030, 
because sometimes like every shotgun it just you hit the shot and it just gives you that sweet nine damage and it makes you want to grab your computer and just turn it into a ball and destroy it however i think it's a solid c tier now the flat line honestly i'll put the flat line at b tier because it's you know old reliable you pick it up you know what you're gonna get with it not too much recoil and some nice damage so that's a solid b tier for me now we have the g7 scout uh d tier mainly because i again i i can't hit a shot with it and then you hit a shot and it's only like uh 45 70 damage i don't know i don't like it i do like yo oh, actually i do like the iron sight for the g7 scout it's probably one of my favorite ones oh fuck it okay uh g7 scout c tier now we got the hemlock a tier mm, yeah hemlock a tier it is so effective if you know how to control it it's a three round burst if you know how to control it it is so effective especially also from long range so that's an a tier for me i i would pick it up over the flat line however again flat line is just old reliable now we got the kraber kraber is a tricky one for me because you know not that many bullets but if you've ever been hit by a kraber shot you know what it can do I think I'm putting that in B tier. Again, I haven't shot much with the Kraber. Usually, I'm not the one that gets the Krabers. Actually, I'm, I'm never the one that gets the Krabers. But yeah, that's a B tier for me. I've seen what it can do firsthand when it melts me. So yeah, solid B tier. Uh, now we got the L-Star. Anyway, uh, now we got the long... I'm just kidding. Uh, L star, well, I'm not kidding about the rank. L star is goaded S tier, my favorite gun of the game. I have a little keychain of it because I'm I'm sexy like that. Uh, it's just you know, no reloading. Yes, there's a cooldown, but how many times has the L star saved me? So many times, especially now since in the care package. It just it, it's it's crazy. It's actually it melts you. It's insane. I, I don't think I need to say anything more about that. Now, the longbow is probably B tier. I would put it above the Kraber. Because I obviously, I use it more because it's not in the care package. But and I hit so many shots with the longbow. And I love the fact that it's like, it's kind of like the 30 30 and that it's semi automatic, but it does more damage. I just like it. Now, Mastiff, I'm indifferent about. I can go C tier. It's you know, it's it's your regular shotgun. It's, it's something too crazy, you know. You pick it up, you know what it can do. It's a shotgun. Now, the Mozambique A tier. Long range, three shots, th three bullets come out per shot. Long range, easy fifteen damage. You get to you get to you know work your your evo up slowly slowly 15 damage from close range it can melt somebody you know the especially with hammer points the mozambique is so good my goodness it's so i don't think i i don't think i need to say anymore now b2020 c tier Cause, you know you pick it up again actually no d tier because you know it's a it's nothing too something too crazy you know it's just a pistol you know it's just a pistol you got that the times how many times it saved me you know i land no guns around me except p2020 and then you have to make do with what it is you know just a just a regular pistol now the peacekeeper b tier it would be so much better if every like you know <laughs> When you're in a, imagine this, you're in a situation. It's 1v1. You can win the squad the game. You can win your squad the game of your life. You've been playing the game for two hours. No wins. And now this is your chance. 1v1, the guy has no shield. You have like half your shield. You jump down fully charged peacekeeper. 
boom, right in the head, nine damage. And then you know, you know what your opponent does? He laughs it off. He just shrugs it off and he melts you. And you know what? You lose the game and you lose your sanity. B tier. Brother, S tier. I think that might be the only one that I that we can all agree. The Prowler is S tier. I, I don't think I need to say it anymore. It's just it's S tier. R301. Honestly, C tier. It's not as not as good anymore as it was. I, I just I mean not as good is the wrong word. Just people don't use it as much and I'm one of those people. I just I, I see it and I, I try not to pick it up. No, R9. I know I talked a lot of shit. I know I talked a lot of shit. However, B tier. I'm gonna I'm gonna put a B tier. So yeah, B tier. It's it's good, you know. Seventeen rounds. I have. If you watch my video, uh, Apex with friends, you see that I I no clip the octane with those seventeen bullets. You know, it does. It still does damage. It just, you know, you gotta hit all your shots. So yeah, that's why it's a solid B tier for me. Sentinel, I don't use it much. However, I like it more than the thirty thirty. So it's a C tier for me. You know, you hit the shot. That's a seventy damage. It could be the difference between knocking somebody and just letting them go. Uh, okay, next we got Rampage. I don't know, I don't use the Rampage much, actually. I know it's good, but I, I think it's a... I think it's a C tier. Actually, there's so many guns here. I'm going to put the G7, D tier. Because I, I, I'm just not good with it. RE45. Regular B tier. Hammer points, A tier. A tier, for sure. For sure, it just it just melts people. It just melts them. Like you just you have an RE45 in your hand. Maybe if you're lucky, you got a blue mag, blue light mag, and you're so, there's a poor soul in front of you, and you just you just rip them apart. It's so sad to watch, but it's so so good. It's like a mama's ravioli. Now we got the Spitfire again, like the Rampage. I. I'm just gonna put a C2. I don't really I haven't used it much. I still don't use it much. You know, if I I tend to avoid it, just like this, just like this one right here. Yeah, I tend to avoid it. Now, triple cake. Mm, did I say triple cake? Triple take. It's here. It doesn't count as a sniper. It's a marksman rifle. However, I would put that as my favorite sniper. Especially now that it does no longer takes three bullets per shot, but it still shoots out three bullets. It's 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 actually amazing. I love it so much. You know, even if you if you don't charge it up all the way, if you just keep spamming it, it still does twenty five damage. You know, it could be the difference between a squad leaving or you getting the kill. You know, and in these ranked games, the KP matters. So A T for me. Now we got the Volt. When those in the care package, S. Now it's no longer in the care package. Still up there. A tier. Yeah, Volt, Volt with a extended energy mag is actually crazy. You know, it's, I keep saying the word melt, but it does it does melt you. Like you're just looking at them and you, they got a Volt in their hands. It's it's Jover. It's so Jover. And then finally, we got the Wingman. Uh, Wingman is tricky because I don't use it much again. Um, it is good, don't get me wrong. Do I prefer to the Sentinel? No, I don't. Do I prefer the 3030? No, I don't. I prefer to the... None of them, actually. actually Wingman D tier. Strictly because I don't use it much. And I'm not the times I've used it, I'm not good at it because I can't hit my shots. Again, these are my personal rankings. If you have a problem with it, it crow yourself, I guess. Oh wow, this looks so much nicer. 
Anyway, that's it. Uh, honorable mentions, the nemesis is not here, but the nemesis would go in S tier. Just, I think everybody knows nemesis is goaded. I'm surprised it has not been nerfed yet. Uh, I, I know somebody that gets mad when people use the nemesis and they think they're good just because they hit other shots and melt people. Uh, the nemesis is just too overpowered. But yeah, uh, thank you everybody so much for watching. Please consider subscribing, leaving a like, and I know I say this all the time, but turning on that sweet bell icon to get notified whenever my videos come up. Thanks for watching.